Hello every pony. Today I'll be reviewing this handsome fella who uh, is actually could be considered a mare by the way. This mold does not have any stallion or gelding parts but I always call it a he because this mold just looks like a he to me. If it looks like a she to you it could be a she. Just putting that out there that it's kind of it could be whatever really you want. But this model is the, the Briar 65th anniversary model. It is on mold number 57, the Western Horse, which was the first animal mold that was done by Briar. And so in honor of their 65th anniversary, they have released a new model on this mold. This guy, or gal, is a gorgeous, gorgeous, glossy Appaloosa Bay, or Bay Appaloosa. And it is really just stunning. I love this model so much. So this model also includes the saddle, which is removable. It comes off like so. It doesn't snap in or anything or tie on. It just sits on the back like so. And then there is an attached set of gold metal reins. And the model also has molded on breast collar and bridle. Try and put in the camera there so you can see it a little better. So, I really love this model. I'm just going to put that out there. Even though I already put it out there a second ago. He is gorgeous, gorgeous. And at first when I saw pictures of him, I did not really like him. I just was kind of like, eh. I only saw one picture of him and it, he was like standing like this in a briar uh, catalog picture and I just didn't really like him from based on just that picture but when I saw him in person I just had to have him and so I got him and he is just stunning and I believe he has done actually really really well I will take go ahead and take the saddle off to show you some more of his color underneath the saddle so you can see he has a really neat Appaloosa pattern all over him and it goes right on his belly and on his belly it says 65th anniversary briar written in gold although it's a little hard to see part of it because of the two spots right there and then the spots wrap around all the way to this side and then on the back and it looks really really nice I love this Appaloosa pattern I, th I think this pattern looks really nice on not just him, but like really any model I think it would look really good on. It is really nice. The spots are neatly done because they're all kind of different. Some are smaller, some are bigger, some are like two or three connected together. And it's a really realistic looking Appaloosa pattern, I think. The masking on the pattern is done really, really well. I'm sure some models are better than the uh, been, uh, are better than others, and some are not as good unmasking wise. But this guy who I just picked up, I didn't even hand pick him. I just saw him and got him because he was the only one there at the time. And his masking is really nice. There's a few little like overspray here and there. And then that spot didn't get quite enough paint, and then that one, it's like a little weird masking error. But other than that, they are like super crisp try and see if you can see that they're just really really crisp and nice really really well done and then I'll show you his face marking as well since that is done quite nicely as well it's a little hard to show you at the table right here I apologize for that but there you can see his face marking is super adorable I absolutely love it it's a little like snip and then with a little bit of a stripe down his face. It's very, very cute. And while we're also on his face, I'll go ahead and show some other details. On his eyes, they are actually tricolored eyes. They have a little bit of white and then brown and black. See both sides. And then the molded on bridle also has nice little details to it, painted in gold. He has the little buckles all painted in gold. And then these little um, 
I'm not sure what these are called, the little like silver or gold little decorations on bridles. It's up on the brow band, on the cheek piece, a little bit right there on the head stall, and then the same on the other side. So, oops, yeah, he's really nicely detailed. And then on the breast collar, it also has those little gold details. And then his hooves, bring this a little closer. On his hooves, he actually has striping. We'll see if the camera will pick up on it. Might not want to do it too well. His hooves are actually striped. This side on my model kind of didn't turn out as well and the striping, these parts got kind of like a little bit messed up, not as smooth. We shaded as like on that side, but it still looks really nice. Yeah, you can see like the difference right there of those two, actually three stripes right there compared to those softer ones. He also has a little bit of shading up on his white marking right there, kind of around, which I think is nice. I think it looks good and it doesn't look like overspray. I think it's supposed to be like that. And then his bottom of the hooves are just normal looking hooves that Briar does. And you can also see his little socks. He has two socks on his back legs. They're very cute. So that is him. And you can see he also has a black mane and tail. And his mane is masked off pretty well on this side as well, if you can see that. It's a little bit um, messed up a teeny bit, but like it looked like they kind of cleaned it up, like it got a little bit of over overspray and then they cleaned it up afterwards. But it still looks nice. I also love his shading, by the way. I love the darker shading on his face and his neck. And his shading is a little lighter, like on his body. It's a little bit more of a lighter red bay. Very, very pretty. Then he has the nice black legs as well. And now I'm going to go over the saddle lastly. The saddle is one of the main things I actually wish they would have done differently. The horse himself, I really, really love him. I don't think I would change anything about him. He is just absolutely gorgeous. Maybe the only thing I would change is there is no chestnuts on him. I don't know if maybe I picked up one that just didn't happen to have chestnuts, but I have not seen chestnuts on this model before. But you can see he doesn't have any chestnuts on him. I don't mind though because I always forget to paint chestnuts when I paint horses so I didn't really even notice it right away or anything. But yes, I really love this model. I think he is perfect just how he is. I absolutely love his gloss. It's nice and even and smooth and just very shiny and brings out his color and his markings really well. The saddle is like I said the only thing I would maybe change and the reason for that is it only has two parts of gold, like it's all black and then it has two parts of gold. There's a line under, on the little uh, uh, saddle skirt deal here and then on the saddle strings at the front. It's like that on both sides. But it's not any, anywhere else and I kind of wish they would have done a little bit more. For example on the Spryerfest special run a Gossamer, he has a lot more gold paint on his saddle like it's got little dots around here and maybe some gold down here I don't remember exactly I don't have that model but it was more detailed and I kind of think they would have been better if they did put more gold on this saddle I would have liked it if they did all the saddle strings in gold and maybe like the little outlines like for example the saddle skirt around here would have been really nice I think to have gold on those edges and then I think gold around the fender maybe a little bit on the stirrup as well would have looked really nice. The saddle itself too, the reason why I think there should be more detail in it as well, or maybe even some, some, sort of, some sort of shading would have been nice too. Just to bring out some of the other details this saddle has, it's got little like tooling details, little flowers that are really cool but you can't even really see these because the saddle's black and you kind of have to look a little bit more to see them. Look at the tooling on the seat, even though it's plastic, but you know, it's like the tooling, little swirls and stuff. Really pretty. I wish they would have done maybe just a little bit more detail on the saddle. But other than that, I really, really love this model. I think he is really great and I would definitely recommend getting him. I know a lot of people were probably not planning on getting him because he is on an old mold, the first mold. 
and because of like his molded on tack and I know some people don't like glossy models either so he might not be one that a lot of people would like but I think he is gorgeous even if you're not into older models or models with molded on tack or things like that he is stunning I am not a fan of models with molded on tack but I absolutely adore him and I actually want more on his mold now because I absolutely love this horse he is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous in my opinion so that is the review for the Briar 65th anniversary horse Glitterati and I'm sorry if I say that wrong by the way and so that is his review if you would like any other models reviewed comment down below I'm a little bit uh, behind right now on doing my model horse reviews but I will be trying to catch up on them as soon as I can